Well, a crew of scientists and underwater divers are trying to dredge up a little-known part of Canadian war history, a deep-sea search for downed planes in the St. Lawrence Seaway. Global Stephanie Matisse tells you if it's successful. There's a lot of pride in his voice when Charlie Fox talks about the Harvard aircraft. People at air shows always watch the Harvards. And the pride is well-placed. Fox served in the Air Force in 1940, two years after the RCAF bought the Harvards. He was a pro at flying what's considered to be one of the most popular warbirds, one that's nearly extinct, and one that took a lot of pilots with it. They called it the Yellow Peril. At Dunbow, we lost 47 uh, instructors and students in accidents. Today's a big day for Fox. A crew of scientists and divers are looking for the wreckage of this heritage plane. We have reports of 15 of them that had crashed in the waters around Ontario during training in the 1940s. This boat is at the mouth of the St. Lawrence, near Gananoque. The crew searches a 9-kilometer squared area where eyewitness accounts say a Harvard went down on May 3, 1944. It's the proverbial search for a needle in a haystack. I mean, imagine trying to you know, find an aircraft, which is uh, roughly you know, uh, a 30-foot-long object, sitting in uh, body water the size of the St. Lawrence. The scientists use some high-tech equipment to help with their mission, submerging this device that sends a reading to the surface. Yeah, it's telling us that there's a massive uh, steel or iron sitting on the bottom, um, and it has to be probably greater than about uh, two to 300 kilograms. The second step is to make sure there's actually an object down there. We'll use the side scan sonar then to uh, do a visual on some of these uh, magnetic hits that we've got and uh, see in fact whether we've got an interesting target, hopefully a, a man-made target. And then with their fingers crossed, the divers go down to scout the find. There are two goals that we have going here. One is to recover parts to keep our existing Harvards flying. Um, the other target, however, is more Commonwealth flyers died in training than died in battle. Um, but there's no memorial for, for these flyers. It's not their lucky day. The crew hasn't hit pay dirt. They've just hit dirt. You notice it's like a desert down there? <laughs> it's absolutely nothing. And big rocks. They're not discouraged, but they do hope that a discovery won't be too late for the remaining five heritage planes flown by the Canadian Harvard Aircraft Association. And then they can also commemorate the valor of men like Charlie Fox. This is Global's Stephanie Matisse reporting. There are actually about 30 Harvards still in use in Canada, but this search is run by the Canadian Harvard Aircraft Association, the same group that operates the five remaining planes that we get rare glimpses of at annual air shows. The expedition crew will go out again in September when they hope to have a successful dive.